నమస్తే శ్రీరామ లవ్ అండ్ రెస్పెక్ట్ ఫుట్ ఆఫ్ లార్డ్ శ్రీరామ క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ వన్ లైవ్ విచ్ అమంగ్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ ఇన్స్ట్రుమెంట్ ఈజ్ యూజ్ టు చెక్ ద కాన్సన్ట్రిసిటీ ఆఫ్ ద అవుట్ సైడ్ డయామీటర్ ఆప్షన్ ఏ లిమిట్ గేజ్ ఆప్షన్ బి డయల్ టెస్ట్ ఇండికేటర్ ఆప్షన్ సి సైన్ బోర్డ్ ఆప్షన్ డి వర్నియర్ బెవెల్ ప్రొటెక్టర్ సో కరెక్ట్ ఆన్సర్ ఈస్ ఆప్షన్ బి డయల్ టెస్ట్ ఇండికేటర్ డయల్ టెస్ట్ ఇండికేటర్ దిస్ డయాగ్రామ్ ఆఫ్ డయల్ టెస్ట్ ఇండికేటర్ డయల్ టెస్ట్ ఇండికేటర్ ఈజ్ ఎ డివైస్ యూజ్డ్ ఇన్ various applications where small distance need to be measured accurately such as checking run out on black discs or n flat float on a crankshaft and concentrity of the outside diameter so for question number 111 which among the following instruments is used to check the concentricity of the outside diameter correct answer is option b dial test indicator next question subscribe this channel click the bell icon and also share this video to your friends on facebook and whatsapp group for more videos check the playlist or home page of this youtube channel 112 and the limit gauges the dimension of no go n is equal to option a minimum permissible dimension option b maximum permissible dimension option c same dimension option d of the dimension so correct answer for this question is option b maximum permissible dimensions go no go plain plug gauges no go gauges does not fit into the part it shows that the feature under inspection is not lacking material or is too large and consequently to lose so for question number 112 in the limit gauges the dimension of no go n is equal to correct answer is option b maximum permissible dimensions next question number 113 which among the following instruments are used to check the components only to ensure that the sizes are within prescribed limits in mass production work option a tri square option b dial test indicator option c gauges option d vernier caliper so correct answer is option c gauges gauge gauge is an inspection tool used to check product dimensions with reference to its maximum and minimum acceptable limit it is generally used to segregate acceptable and non acceptable product in mass production without knowing exact value of dimension so for question number 113 which among the following instruments are used to check the components only to ensure that the sizes are within prescribed limits in mass production work option c correct answer is option c gauges next question 114 the point angle of twist drill of general purpose is options 
option a 140 degree option b 108 degree option c 112 degree option d 118 degree correct answer is option d 118 degree the point angle the angle between the drill lips called point angle of or cutting angle this is the diagram of point angle of twist drill for general purpose so the question number 114 the point angle of twist drill of general purpose is correct answer is option d 18 degree next question option question number 115 a wedge like tool used for removing the taper shank tools from the nose of the drill machine drilling machine spindle is called option a drill check option b slave option c socket option d drill lift so correct answer is option d drill lift drill lift used to remove tapered shank drills or assesses from drill press spindle so for question number 115 the wedge like tool used for removing the taper shank tools from the nose of the drilling machine spindle is called correct answer drill drift next question question number 116 the distance a drill advance into the job in one complete revolution is known as option a cutting speed option b speed option c feed option d rpm correct answer is option c feed this is the diagram of feet. The distance a drill advance into the chop in one complete revolution is known as feet. So for question number 116, the distance a drill advance into the chop in one complete revolution is known as correct answer is option C feet. Question number 117. The spot facing is done to option A. Make surface flat so that the bolt head can take proper seat on the surface. Option B. Given fine finish to the drill hole. Option C. Enlarge the exiting hole. Option D. Produce thread on the hole. For Question number 117. Correct answer is option A. Make surface flat so that bolt head can take proper sit on the surface. Spot facing. It is a finishing operation to produce flat ground surface usually around the drill hole for proper sitting of bolt head or nut. It is done using a special spot facing tool. So for question number 117, the spot facing is done to correct answer is option A. Make surface flat so that the bolt head can take proper sit on the surface. So next question, question number 18, 118. Which among the following cutting tool is used to finish and enlarge a hole accurately? Option A, drill. Option B, reamer. Option C, tap. Option D, counter board. Correct answer is reamer. 
Rimmer. A rimmer are designed to enlarge the size of a previously formed hole by a small amount but with a high degree of accuracy to leave smooth sides. So for question number 118, which among the following cutting tool is used to finish and enlarge a hole accurately? So correct answer is option B, reamer. Question number 119, the least count of a common or near caliper is? Option A, 0 0.1 millimeter. Option B, 0 0.02 millimeter. Option C, 0 0.01 millimeter. Option D, 0 0.05 millimeter. Correct answer is option B, 0 0.02 millimeter least count of one year caliper this is the diagram of least one year caliper one year scale divisions so in 49 mean scale division is equal to 50 one year scale divisions so the main scale division is equal to 1 mm so one one year scale division is equal to 49 divided by 50 so in this line we can shift this 49 to the right side of the equal sign then it will come under 50 49 by 50 because we here we want one one year scale even we can shift this 50 to the left side of the equal sign then it will become 49 by 50 main scale division so so 49 by 50 then it, if you simplify this step we get 0.98 mm so we know that the least count is 1 mst the difference of 1 mst and 1 vst so 1 mst is main scale division that is we know that 1 mst is equal to 1.00 mm minus 1 vst so that is 0.98 mm so if you subtract these two numbers then we get 0 0.02 millimeter. So for question number 119, least count of a common or near caliper is option B. Correct answer is option B, 0 0.02 millimeter. Next, question number 120. In a vernier caliper, the main scale reading is 60 mm vernier division coincide with the main scale is the 28 division and then the reading will be correct answer is option b 60.56 mm so given that first write the given data so in this questions the main scale reading is 60 mm so we should write Main scale reading is 60 mm. Then vernier division is coincide with the main scale is 28 division. So the vernier division coincide with the main scale that is 28 division. Then find the total reading. Then find the total reading. So what? So we know that total reading is equal to main scale division plus least count into vernier scale division. So main scale that is given that is 60 mm plus least count into one year scale. So here one year scale is the 28th into least count is 0 0.02. If we simplify these steps, then we will get the 60 plus if we multiply these two numbers, then we will get 0.56. If we had these two numbers, then we get the total reading that is 60.56 millimeter where msd is main scale division and vst is vernier scale division and lc is least count and ter is total reading so for question number 120 in vernier caliper the main scale reading is 
60 mm vernier division coinciding with the main scale is the 28th division and then the reading will be correct answer is option b that is 60.56 millimeter thank you for watching jai shri rama